Here we are in Blood Bowl 2. I've registered for the PFLAX Goon Ladder. Brand new team. This is uh, my bald lizards that are literally bald. I named them after bald characters in like movies. Uh, so here's Mini-Me. That's my Croxagore. I, I thought that was funny. Uh, PFLAX, obviously. Uh, Blonde Bomber, all right. Common. Uh, Marcellus Wallace. Turkish. Mike Tyson as himself, because that's the only thing he does. Captain Picard, Pitbull, Dominic Toretto, and James Bond, a.k.a. Sean Connery. I couldn't fit Sir Sean Connery. It doesn't allow it, so just Connery, because uh, he is bald, and he's the original James Bond. I want to point out that this is a friendly community game. When I call out mistakes or misplays, I'm not trying to flame anybody. I'm not an expert by any means, but I would like this to be kind of instructional. All right, here we go. And looks like he is, he's kicking. Looks like this is a fresh team. Let's be courteous. So what I usually do is I keep my Croxy Gore in the back. I don't use them the way other people use them. I kind of like to use them to tie up people. Not necessarily to bash and beat the crap out of people. I like to play the ball, really. Interesting, he has... Is that a lineman? Instead of a black orc? He seems to have two black orcs on the sides and only one in the middle. Nice. Not bad, not bad. So let's get the easy hits out of the way. And we're matching strength there, so I'm not going to mess with that. I'm gonna blitz this guy and then move him back. Oh, that's lucky. This is just kind of to protect my ball carrier. This guy might be open. He might be open. But I think that's okay. Not quite sure what to do with this guy. I could mark someone, but I, it's so easy for him to get a hit on me. So I think I'm just gonna, just gonna move him back a little bit. Let's see what he does. Yeah, don't do that. So he's going to clobber this guy, but I have faith in him. And he's marking these... Yeah, that's that's not a good move. I'm not sure... This is a pretty good cage. Pretty much all my guys are around the ball carrier. So this is a really good cage for me. Uh, I'm not too experienced to know if this is like a, a decent cage. He's moving up in hopes of getting some blocks next turn, his next turn, and making it difficult for me to move out. But so long as my skinks are in the clear, should be okay. Blonde Bomber, holding it. No problem. Oh! Oh!
That that was so risky. A one dice block. So risky. All right, so I think I could move out to the side, but I think this is more open over here. So I'm going to try to get my Croxagore. I think I want to tie up these two guys and it'll give them a free hit. Could, yeah. I could tie up the Black Orc too. And this is how I use my big guy. I just go in, I make sure that um, he just, he's on somebody and we could tie people up. He has block, that guy has block, but I I'm safe. I have a good cage, so ugh. Um, shoot. I'm gonna take the hit. I only have two rerolls. My cage is still good, so I'm just gonna take the hit and see what he does. He took three rerolls, which isn't too bad, but that's probably why his TV was so much higher. He can get two, maybe three hits here, but he, he won't get into the cage, I don't think. looks like he's just marking up which is actually a really good play since he's an orc team a bashy team oh whoa He had, he had a stun, that was a down. And he thought about it, so that was not a misclick. And he's kind of left this open for me now. Now I've tied these guys up and I need to move him. Where can I move him to? Here, I guess. Or I could move here. I basically want to run my ball carrier up here, but I want to give him some defense. Safe play might be to do this. Oh, that was a go for it. I did not mean to do that. So all these guys are tied up, except for this dude. So I'm going to take... I kind of want to get my skinks out first, though. If I get this hit, it's a push. I don't want to give an avenue for his guys to move out, but I think that's 
I think that's the best I could do. And I'm not going for these single dive blocks. All these dudes are tied up, so there's no reason for me to take a block. If he stands this black orc, he could hit me with him, but he'd have to blitz in order to get out. This guy is the only real threat for me to run in, but he'd have to make a go for it to block my guy. And even then it's... Even then it's kind of risky. Oh! Thinking, he's thinking, he's got two minutes, plenty of time. There you go. Oh no! He takes it. And Grub Nash I Isis is KO'd. <laughs> Alright. So we're back to square one. This guy's in a bad position. So this might be my final block. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna risk it now. I'm just gonna move my ball carrier. And what's his strength? Three. So I could put a skink on him, or I could just go for the blitz. But I'm gonna move my skinks up first. There's no way that guy can get to me. I'm a little worried about him. So let's just move this guy here. Move him up here. And this is just to add tackle zones around my ball carrier. Get him protected. I want to push this guy as far away from my ball dude as I could. As I can. And I get the down. Alright, so now I'm going to risk a one dive. I probably shouldn't even risk it, but he is going to block me. So I'm just going to go for it. And I get it. So this is key placement of this Croxagore. He's tying up this Black Orc and this Lyman. They're the only real threats to getting up here. These other two guys, they're uh, marked and they can't punch out. So really good spot here. I could stall. Oh. could stall, but this blitzer, he alone can get to my guy. So I could run out here, but I think I'm just going to go for the touchdown. I want as many points as I can, as fast as I can. <laughs> and James Bond brings it in. <laughs> All right, so same thing for defense. I'm going to pull my Croxigore out. I'm going to spread these guys and I, I don't like to stack them up just because it, especially when it, uh, with a bashy team, a strong team, their ability to just domino down the line is uh, really tough or really good I should say. 
So I'm just going to do that, and then I leave a couple of my guys in the back just to help out with blocks if I need them. So because he's so strong, he's guaranteed three blocks no matter how, no matter what I do here. Even if I stack all my strong guys on the line, he can still get them on the edge. And that can cause a domino effect where all my guys on the line, if he rolls good, if I have some bad luck, he can stack all his guys on the line and take out all of my guys because he's, uh, he's attacking. All right. Get an extra reroll. Wow, I didn't use one. I have three now. First, first move, pick up. That's a bad move. Even if, even if this guy has short hands, it's still bad. It's better to. Get all your movement done. All your safe moves. Yeah. You want to move all your guys first and then go for the blocks. Not, not just blocks, but then you want to go do anything that involves rolling dice. As soon as you start rolling dice, you are, you're taking a chance. This is a bad cage here. The reason why it's bad is I can place a guy, I can, I can hit this blitzer and get on his ball carrier relatively easy. It's better to have the corners instead of the, uh, the middle, the middle blocks. Alright, so he gets two hits, not bad. Kind of expected that, but because I didn't move up my Croxigor, I can I can move him to somewhere, and he has so much movement. Um, ideally, I'd want to move him up here, but there's no way. So I could create a hole, but these guys are so strong. If I can get a one die block. I can maybe free this up, and I can move him up. So I'm gonna do that. All I need is a push. I get the down. I'm gonna follow up. Now that this frees up my Croxigore to get right up in his shit. I would like to get there, but obviously I can't move. Damn it. Um, I'm just going to move him here, if he doesn't, uh, he bonehead, so, he's out of play, but he's not a critical role. If I could tie up this guy, I would force him to move left, I could force him to move left, because I was planning to go here, but because he boneheaded, uh, that changes things. So I think what I'm going to do is I'll move him here, I still want to move him left, because this seems to be uh, more open for me, so I move him up. And I'm going to get the dot. Oh, it's a go for it. That's all right. I got three rules. It's turn six. I can afford it. And I get the push. Uh, I'm going to re-roll. I still get a push. That's fine. I'm going to push him up here. And I'm going to stay. So he's still marked, but he's not. So next turn, I could maybe do something with him. And I'm going to keep my skinks down here. I could have moved the skink up here so I could maybe get a block on this guy. But I, these are brand new skinks. I don't want to ruin them just yet. If 
the block goes bad or I only get a push. No, I guess a push would be all right. But if the block goes bad, I could potentially have a skink next to a black orc and it's, it's, it's a bad time for the skink. So this is kind of smart. Instead of running his ball carrier all the way down here, he's just moving a little bit. He's kind of buying time. This is a much better cage right here. You don't need your guys right next to the ball carrier to protect him. Oh, he went for the one die block and he got it. That's always risking when, when your character doesn't have block. Another one die block and he gets it. These are risky, but they, the risk does have rewards. And he didn't move up, which is very smart. Because then he would... He puts himself up against the Croxagore. Ooh, he failed the dodge. But... There's a chance that I won't be able to activate my Croxagore, so... Um, so that's kind of bad for him, because now I can move this guy up. And... I want to tie all these three guys up, so I'm hoping I can move this Crocs here. Yeah. Nice. So now all these three guys are activated. Or uh, in a uh, tackle zone with my Crocs score. So now I can move him up. It's going to be a double go for it, so I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do to protect my Croxagore, I think I'm going to move him here. My skinks are somewhat safe. I'm going to move him over here though. Just kind of get him ready. And then... I'm just going to threaten with this guy. I have no intentions of getting him in. Uh, I'm just going to threaten with him and then move him down here. Because these guys are tied up. And let's see if I can get some blocks here. That's not good. That's not good either. I'm going to get the push. And I think I'll push him there. And I'm going to stay so I can get a block on this uh, black orc. That sucks. That's really bad. All right, so he moved his ball carrier one. This is okay if he plans to do stuff like this, where he, he expands the cage and doesn't just ball up. He can ball up if he's planning to stall, but he's down. Oh man, he gets that. It's that lucky block. He's down a point, so he can't really stall too much. He had an opportunity to maybe throw to this guy But he can't do that anymore. Man, these one die blocks. He's all right, though. He's all right.
So I could come in with the blitz on this guy to get on the ball carrier. He only has one turn. He cannot score. So there's really no point. I might as well just try to get a hit somewhere. And... Skinks are, are okay. So I'm just going to leave him. Let's see what he does with this. I should be able to block. I'm going to block with him and hopefully get another block with this guy. And we're both down, but this is the last turn, so I'm going to burn the last reroll and get a block. I'm just looking for injuries now. And that's it. There's no way you could win, but he could try for, yeah, throw a pass, maybe he catches it, gets a, a, a point of experience on that guy, maybe get some good blocks and uh, get some experience that way, which would be bad for me, so I don't want, <laughs> but I think I have him tied up pretty well. So that was pointless what he just did. He should have gone for the pass. You don't get an experience point from a handoff. He's going for the block, gets a push. That's all he needs though to free, free up a block on him. But he used all his moves. Can't do that now. So this guy can move up. Gets a block on the Black Orc. And that's pretty much it. Don't both down. Don't do it. You can get experience from a both down. If he injures my player, he can get some uh, XP. But um, it's, it's really risky. All right, so it's his possession again. And I'm just gonna keep the same lineup, except I'm gonna move my guy out to the outside here. I kinda wanna give him a path to, towards the inside. And hopefully kinda entice him to get in the middle so I can flank him. When everybody's on one side of the pitch, either left or right, it's just such a such a mess. It's so much work to try to get in. But if he can kind of surround, if he cages up in the middle, I find it much easier uh, to get on the ball on the ball carrier. Don't go for the pickup. That's right. Do all your moves, all the safe moves. Then go for the pickup. If there are some easy blocks like this guy, he can get a block on my Saurus because he has block. That's a very uh, safe, safe move. Goes for the pickup. Does not move because that would be. Uh, yeah, you could move. That's a good. Uh, that's a good light cage. No, not anymore. That should have been a blitz. That should have been a blitz. Is he going to go for the blitz here? He can. No. That should have been a blitz as well.
Ah, oh, come on. Hold strong. Ooh. All right, so here's the issue now. If I can get my Croxagore. And if only he had, if only I could move him around. He has enough freedom to move left or right. So ideally I want to tie up guys on the right and force them to move left. So I'm going to move him here, tie up these two lads, and take care of him. Maybe with a skink. Mm. I don't know. Let's do this. I'll keep him tied up. And then... If I move him here, that'll tie him up, but that would leave all my sauruses tied up, and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to move him to the right. Hoping to get a good block here, just for the block, yep, that's good. I'm going to follow. So now this area is kind of contested. So he's forced, he's going to be forced to move this way. I move my skinks up. Just a little bit, not too much. I want to keep him out of the danger zones. But I need him to move in and pick up the ball should he mess up. Oh, no. I don't know about this. Alright, so this is, this is now a slugfest. Which actually, this kind of plays in his favor. Yeah, you're not going to get easy blocks here, bud. You just created a mosh pit. That's good for him. But you're still not going anywhere. Oh, that's all right. All these guys have moved. He can't do anything with these black orcs. He is stuck here. Unless he... Damn it. Oh, that's not too bad. So... I want to blitz with him. Before I do that though... I'm gonna throw this guy out as bait. He's just bait. I have no plans to do that, but if he sees that and and thinks, oh, he's moving a guy up to get into scoring position. I better go deal with him. He'll pull a guy away. Watch. Just watch. And I think I want to go... I think I want to go like this. No, I think I just want to go straight up. stay. 
I could I could move him here though. I don't need to though. I already have a two eye block him, so I'm just gonna keep him here to secure this line. Then I'm gonna go for this guy. Just another push. I'm gonna keep him tied up. And then I'm gonna move the croc up here to tie up all of these lads. Let's keep going, going for the punches. Nice. Kind of want to block him, but I already used I already used my blitz. I think I'm just gonna. I'm going to put him here, just in case he breaks this line, he won't be able to move easily through here. That's right, stand up all your lads. So I'm up one, all I have to do is defend. I'm not, I would love to score again, but I don't need to. I just got to keep him from scoring. If all I do is make a move back and forth, left and right, I'm winning. That was a good block. Even though it was just a push, that was good for him. This is smart, but again, he's kind of taking the bait. He's pulling guys away from his ball carrier. And yeah, you're not going to get an easy block here. That's you got to move this ball carrier. Move him left, move him back here. I can blitz you. All right. So he's just digging his heels in. Oh no. Common is stunned. That's the first major armor armor break of this game, which is pretty good. I like that. So now, I just do this. Now I'm on the ball. I don't, I don't like blitzing with the Croxigore. I could have, but I'm not going to. I might blitz with him though. I don't necessarily want to move my skinks. Everyone's in place. I'm afraid of moving him now because he has this blitzer that's open. He can blitz my skink, and that's a that's a bad that's a dead skink. So I might just move him here actually, and we keep the same situation here. And I kind of even I threaten even more by moving him up here. If he moves any of his free guys to get the skink. I basically kind of won. So I need to get this guy. And I get it. And I'm not going to pull push the ball carrier away. I'm going to push this guy. Like this. And I'm going to follow. That way I get another block on him. And I get the block. However, I'm going to... I, I should follow up. Yeah, I'm going to fall. So now that I have this going on, I might move him up. 
just to make it even harder for him to throw a block. I don't really want to. I always like to keep a guy open, but I got my skinks here. Should be okay. I want him to pull this guy away to go after my skink. Hmm. Even better, he just needs to get his guy out and make a pass. I don't think it's going to happen though. So he didn't take the bait, but now that skinks in scoring position. Down we go, son. Oh! And it's a stun for his black orc. So I think I just... I could just blitz him now. Let's stand my guys up. And... I'm gonna posture to get in the way of this guy. So basically you would have to go around. He can, I think he could blitz through. He can blitz through, but it, that'll make him roll some die. So, let's see. Let's see what happens. All right, I get the ball. Unfortunately, this guy... I could throw this. Let me see if I can get a skink. No. I could maybe go there. Or I could just pick up with this lad. Let's go for the pickup. Now I'm going to move here to try to back him up. If he if he if he frees these guys, uh, that'll be bad. Oh, I, what I could could do is just block him. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Actually, no. I'm going to keep it safe. I'm just going to do that. Leave it at that. Or... Oh. I'm in scoring position, kind of, but... The greed. So now my Croxagor is free to move. I'm going to tie up these guys here. I think they only, they're the only ones that have the movement. I'm going to turn. Oh, no! You have block. Oh well, worked out. That's a go for it. Didn't work out. Falls up though. You need to stand this guy up. There you go. There you go. But he already wasted his blitz. So. Oh, no. 
He's all right. He's okay. So let's mark this guy. Let's protect the ball. I didn't realize I was go for it. And we could go for this guy. And I think I will. First. The TD is a go for it. Croxagore is only blocking... Well, he's kind of holding these two two guys. I think the safer bet is to just dodge away. And get in scoring position. Could do that. I don't want to sacrifice my skinks, so uh, I think I'm just going to do this. Well. Common is injured! He lost the point. In what? Oh, that was bad. Lose a point in movement. Ugh. Oh no, you have block. You have block. All right, mistakes are being made all around. I think, I think that mistake of not moving, I don't know. I don't know. I feel bad leaving my skink out out there. I should have moved the other one, the other skink that was here, to block that blitzer, or at least get in his way. Because he had to make a go for it to make the block. That's why I didn't even think about it. It's like, there's no way he's going for it, but he did. <laughs> he did, and uh, it worked out in my favor, but it shouldn't have. He has block, and he could have downed my skink twice. See what he does. He's got two turns. He can't score. But he has two turns to make something out of this out of this loss. Goes for the pickup first. Do a pass. Get something. SPP with a pass. I should have moved my skinks up to maybe get a, a third TD, but I don't think it's going to happen. It could happen, but you got block. All right, so let me break it down. When you have a both down die, a skull with the pow sign both both units go down however if you have this block skill it negates 
you going down. So you, it's essentially you rolling a POW block. You don't need the, the straight up POW to knock someone over. You can get a POW block, you can get a defender stumble, which is this POW symbol with a little exclamation point in the middle. And you'll knock someone down if they don't have the dodge skill. All right, what's going on? What's happening? He wants he wants a TD real bad. He's not gonna get it. Uh, I could just blitz him. It's a go for it. That's all right. Gonna mark. That's a go for it too. Shit. I hate it when my croc is blocked by one guy. I'll just go for it. If I bonehead, whatever. Fuck. Uh. Alright, he's bonehead. That's fine. That's okay. Form the skink line. Make him run all the way around. That's still a go for it anyway. And now we go for the blitz. I saved my reroll, so if this fails, I can do it. Let's reroll that. I got so many. And down he goes. And I'm just going to stay. And I could go after this guy. Down he goes. Get him in there. That's it. He can't win now. He can't win, period. Uh, he can't score now. Goes for the pickup. Throw it. Yes. Do it. Nice. Do it. That's all you can do. It's not all you can do. He can throw some blocks and hopefully get some injury points. I love this though. You gotta do it. You gotta do it. Come on, man. You got two re-rolls. This is the last turn. There you go. Oh! Awesome. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so this turn, this is the last turn. So, and I'm attacking. So I am going to line up the line. Put the skink here. So I'm hoping to get a domino effect going down left. Let's see if it happens. So at the end, if I get all these hits and I manage to pick up the ball, do I need to be one square away to make a throw that'll count for experience? Or do I need to be more than one square away? I forgot. Oh no. It's my skink. That's it? Just my skink? 
Come on. What's the deal? All right. Let's see if we get the hit. It's a push. I'll take it. That's a down. Uh, I'm not going to reroll just yet. I kind of want to save it for the throws. Because of my lowly little skink here, I get a two die block on this guy. Yeah, all right. Damn. Pick up the ball. Now throw it, and catch it. Catch it! Oops. Mike Tyson got the MVP. Of course he did. Of course. Let's look at the team. I have Common that's out. And he has an injury, which makes him lose of movement. So I might just sell him. I'm gonna get alignment anyway. I have 60K, 80K. I'm pretty sure I could get that next game. So I'm afraid Common, you're out, son. You're out. We'll see what happens next game.